ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣಪತಿ ಶಾರದಾ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಚರಿತಂ ರಘುನಾಥ ಶತಕೋಟಿ ಪ್ರವಿಸ್ತರಂ ಏಕೈಕಮಕ್ಷರಂ ಪುಂಸಾಂ ಮಹಾಪಾತಕ ನಾಶನಂ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಚರಿತ ಮಾನಸ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೈಂಟ್ ತುಳಸಿದಾಸ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ರಾಮ I greet the name Rama of the chief of Raghus which is composed of seed letters representing the fire god the sun god and the moon god namely Ra A and Ma respectively It is the same as Brahma the creator aspect of god which know the preservative aspect and Shiva his disintegrating aspect and the vital breath of the vedas it is attributeless peerless and a mine of virtues it is the great spell which lord maheshwara mutters and which when imported by him at kashi the modern varanasi leads to emancipation its glory is known to lord ganesha who is worship before all others as a glory of the name the oldest poet valmiki is acquainted with the glory of the name in as much as he attained to purity by repeating it in the reverse order because valmiki repeated the name as mara because he himself was a hunter at that time so he could not able to pronounce rama hence he pr- he pronounced it as mara mara and over a period of time mara became rama similarly rama also stands for ra for pitru father ma for mother hence lord ganesha wrote rama and made a circumambulation of it thereby he circumambulated the his parents It, that is basically lead to circumambulation of the whole world which make him so famous and which make him eligible for the first worshiping before worshiping any other goddess hearing the verdict of lord shiva that the name is as good as a thousand other names of the god because in vishnu sahasranama there is a, a shloka naming ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ರಾಮೇತಿ ರಮೇ ರಾಮೇ ಮನೋರಮೇ ಸಹಸ್ರನಾಮ ತತ್ತುಲ್ಯಂ ರಾಮ ನಾಮ ವರಾನನೆ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರನೌನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ರಾಮ ಪ್ರನೌನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ರನೌನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಗಾಡಸ್ ಭವಾನಿ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ಡೈಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಹರ್ ಕನ್ಸ ಕನ್ಸಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಅಟರಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ಸ್ ನೋಟಿಸಿಂಗ್ ಸಚ್ ಪರ್ಶಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಹರ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ Hara the lord shiva made that lady who was the ornament of her sex the ornament of his own person because shiva considered uma or parvati as part of the left half of his body thereby he took the form of ardhanarishwara while his right half is male part the left half is that of parvati Shiva knows full well the power of the name Rama due to which deadly poison served the purpose of nectar to him that is during the churning of the milky ocean the in the beginning the, it produced a deadly poison which was consumed by Shiva with the power of Rama Nama devotion to the lord of ragus is as it were the rainy season and the noble devotees say tulasi dasa represent the paddy crop while the two charming syllables of the name rama stands for two months of shravana and bhadrapada corresponding roughly to july and august of every month both the letters sounds are sweet and attractive they have they are of the two eyes as it were of the alphabet and the very life of the devotee 
easy to remember and delightful to one and all. They bring gain here and provide sustenance hereafter. They are more, most delightful to utter, hear and remember and are dear as Rama and Lakshmana to Tulasi Dhasa. When treated separately, the two letters lose their harmony, that is, are different when they are differently pronounced. They bear diverse meaning in the form of seed letters and as such yield different results. Hence, the letters Ra and Ma should not be pronounced separately. They should always be pronounced together as Rama. Whereas they are naturally allied even as Brahma, the cosmic spirit, and Jiva, the individual soul, good brothers like the divine sages Nara and Narayana, they are sustainers of the universe and redeemers of the devotee in particular. They are beautiful ornaments for the ears of the fair damsel in the form of bhakti, devotion, and stand as the spotless sun and moon for the good of the world. They are like the taste and the gratifying quality of nectar in the form of emancipation and are supporters of the globe like the divine tortoise and the serpent god Shesha. They are like bees for the beautiful lotus in the shape of the devotee's mind and are the very like of Hari Sri Krishna and Haladhara Balarama, who wielded a plow as a weapon for Ashoda, their foster mother and wife of Nanda, in the shape of the tongue. Lo, the two letters Ra and Ma, forming part of the name of Raghuvara, the chief of the Ragus, crown all the letters of the alphabet the one spreading like an umbrella and the other resting as a crest jewel, O Tulasi Dasa. The name and the object named, though similar in significance, are allied as master and servant one to another. That is to say, even though there is complete identity between God and his name, the former closely, that is the god Sri Rama, in person closely follows the latter, that is his name Rama, even as a servant follows his master. The Lord appears in person at the very mention of his name. Name and form are the two attributes of God, both of them are ineffable and beginningless and can be rightly understood only by means of good intelligence. It is presumptuous on one's part to declare as to which is superior or inferior. Hearing the distinctive merits of both, pious souls will judge for themselves. Forms are found to be subordinate to the name. Without the name, you cannot come to the knowledge of a form. Typical forms cannot be identified even if they be in your hand without knowing their name. And if the name is remembered even without seeing the form, the latter, that is the form, flashes on the mind with a special liking for it the moment you mention the name of it. The mystery of name and form is a tale which cannot be told. Though delightful to comprehend, it cannot be described in words. Between the unqualified absolute and qualified divinity, the name is a good intermediary. It is a clever interpreter revealing the truth of both. Install the luminous gem in the shape of the divine name Rama on the threshold of the tongue at the doorway of your mouth. 
if you will have light both inside and outside o tulasi dasa yogis or mystics who are full of this passion and are wholly detached from god's creation keep awake in the daylight of wisdom muttering the name with their tongue and enjoy the felicity of brahma the absolute which is incomparable unspeakable unmixed with sorrow and devoid of name and form even those who seek for truth who aspire to know the mysterious ways of providence are able to comprehend them by muttering the name divers mean those who are hanker after worldly achievements repeat the name absorbed in contemplation and become accomplished acquiring superhuman powers such as that of becoming infinitely small in size if devotees in distress mutter the name rama their worst calamities of the gravest type of disaster and they become happy in this world there are four kinds of devotees of shri rama all the four of them are virtuous sinless and noble all the four clever as they are rely upon the name of these the enlightened devotee is specially dear to the lord because the other devotees are the one who seek god for the sake of financial needs the other who seek god when they are in trouble third one seek the god out of curiosity while the enlightened one seek the god specially because of their trust in him the glory of the name is supreme in all the four yogas and all the four vedas particularly in the kali age in which there is no other means of salvation because at least in krita yuga treta yuga dwapara yuga there is a means of means for salvation through meditation or through yagnas or through worshiping whereas in kali yuga because of lack of concentration of the mind due to various aspects it is better always to recite the name of the god even those who are free from all desires and absorbed in the joy of devotion to shri rama have thrown their heart as fish into the nectarine lake of supreme affection for the name there are two aspects of god the one unqualified and the other qualified both these aspects are unspeakable unfathomable without beginning and without parallel to my mind greater than both is the name that has established its rule over both by its might friends should not take this as a bold assertion as the part of this on the part of this servant i record my mind's own conviction love and liking the two aspects of brahma the god should be recognized as akin to fire the one that is the absolute which represents fire which is latent in wood while the other qualified which is a qualified divinity corresponds to that which is extremely visible though both are inaccessible by themselves they are easily attainable through the name therefore i have called the name greater than brahma and shri rama both where brahma is the unmanifested absolute form of the god and shri rama is the manifested visible form of the god but the name is greater than both of them Brahma the god is one all pervading and imperishable he is all truth consciousness and a compact mass of joy even though such immutable lord is present in every heart 
all beings in this world are nonetheless miserable and unhappy though the practice of the name preceded by its true prizement however the same brahma reveals itself even as the value of a jewel is revealed by its correct knowledge the glory of the name is thus infinitely greater than the absolute i shall show below how in my judgment the name is superior even to shri rama for the sake of his devotees shri rama assumed the form of a human being and suffering calamities himself brought relief to the pious by fondly repeating his name on the other hand devotees easily become abodes of joy and blessings shri rama himself redeemed a single woman ahalya the wife of an ascetic while his name rama connected the error of crores of wicked souls for the sake of the sage vishwamitra shri rama wrought the destruction of suketu's daughter tataka with her army and son subahu while his name rama puts an end to the devotees vain hopes along with his errors and sorrows even as the sun terminates night in his own person shri rama broke the bow of shiva while the very glory of his name dispels the fear of rebirth the lord restored the charm of the dandaka forest alone while his name purified the mind of countless devotees the delighter of ragus shri rama crushed only host of demons while his name rama approaches all the impurities of the kali age the lord of ragus conferred immortality only on faithful servants like shabari the celebrated billa woman and the vulture jatayu while his name has delivered innumerable riches the tale of its virtues is well known in the vedas as is well known to all shri rama extended his protection to two devotees only namely sugriva and vibhishana his name on the other hand has showered its grace on numerous humble souls this super glory of the name shines forth in the world as well as in the vedas shri rama collected an army of bears and monkeys and took no little pain over the construction of a bridge to connect the mainland of bharata with the island of sri lanka though the repeat through the repetition of his name however the ocean of mundane existence itself gets dried up let the wise bear this in mind shri rama killed in battle ravana with all his family and returned to his own city with sita he was then crowned king in the capital of ayodhya while gods and sages sang his glories in choicest phrases his servants are however able to conquer the formidable army of error by fondly remembering his name and absorbed in devotion move about in joy which is peculiarly their own by the grace of the name they know not sorrow even in dream the name is thus greater than brahma and shri rama both and confess confers blessings even as the bestowers of boon knowing this in his heart the great lord shiva chose this word rama for himself out of shri rama's story comprising 100 crore verses by the grace of the name alone lord shambhu shiva is immortal and though through 
and though endowed with inauspicious paraphernalia such as the wreath of skulls is at a storehouse of blessings again it is by the grace of the name alone that siddhas sages and yogis like shuka sanaka and others enjoyed divine raptures narada realized the glory of the name that is why while shri hari is beloved of the world and hara is dear to shri hari he that is narada is dear to hari and hara vishnu and shiva both that is basically hara is only dear to shri hari whereas narada is dear to both hari as well as hara because he keep repeating the name rama it was because of his repeating the name that the lord showered his grace on prahlada who thereby become the crest jewel of devotees dhruva repeated the name of shri hari with a free feeling of indignation the horse treatment received from his step mother and thereby attained a fixed and incomparable station in the heavens it is by remembering the holy name that hanuman the son of wind god holds shri rama under his thumb the wild ajamila and even the celebrated elephant and the harlot of legend were liberated by the power of shri hari's name I have no words to depict the glory of the name not even rama can adequately glorify it the name of shri rama name of rama is a wish yielding tree the very home of beatitude in this age of kali by remembering which tulsi dasa the poet himself was transformed from an inek intoxicating drug like the hemp plant into a holy basil not only in this kali age but in all the four ages at all times past present and future and in all the three spheres that is heaven earth and the subterranean region creatures have been rid of grief by repeating the name rama the verdict of the vedas and the puranas as well as of saints is just this that love of rama or the name rama is the reward of the virtuous acts in the first age through meditation that is in the krita yuga it is through meditation in the second age treta yuga it is through sacrifices or yagnas and in the dwapara age the lord is propitiated through worship but this in this age of kali however is simply which is simply corrupt and the root of all impurities where the mind of man wallows like a fish in the ocean of sin in this terrible age the name alone is the wish yielding tree the very thought of which puts an end to all the illusions of the world the name of rama is the bestower of one's desired object in this age of kali it is beneficent in the other world and one's father and mother in this world in kali yuga neither karma that is action nor bhakti the devotion nor again the gnana the knowledge avails the name of rama is the only resort for salvation the age of kali is as it were the demon kolanemi the repository of all wiles whereas the name is the wise and mighty hanuman the name of rama is as it were the lord manifested as a man lion and the age of kali the demon is the hiranyakashipu it is if you consider lord as the manifestation of man lion that is narahari and the age kali as the demon hiranyakashipu then crushing this enemy of gods the name will protect the devotees repeating it 
and even as the man lion protected the prahlada in the story of hiranyakashipu like the way lord has killed hiranyakashipu to protect the world the name of rama will kill all the problems of kali in order to protect the devotees the name repeated either with good or evil intentions in an angry mood or even while yawning diffuses joy in all the ten directions remembering that name and bowing my head to the lord of ragus i proceed to recount the virtues of shri rama he whose grace is never tired of showing its good will to others will mend my errors in every way rama is a noble lord and a poor servant like myself at due to his own disposition that storehouse of compassion has fostered me in the world as well as in the vedas we observe the following characteristics in a good master namely that he comes to recognize one's devotion to him as soon as he hears one's prayer rich or poor rustic or urban learned or unlettered of good repute or bad a good poet or a bad one all men and women extol the king according to his or her right light and the pious sensible amiable and supremely compassionate ruler like sri rama who takes his descent from the irangest from the greatest of god greets all with sweet words hearing their compliments and appraising their composition devotion supplication and conduct such is the way of earthly monarchs to say nothing of the lord of kosala shri rama who is the crest jewel of wise men shri rama gets pleased with unalloyed love but who is duller and more impure of mind in this world than i myself because saint tulsi das are putting himself in a very humiliating position very humble position says that if tulsi das could be blessed by rama then anyone who show a little devotion towards rama a little love towards rama will always be taken care of by him the benevolent rama will nonetheless respect the devotion and pleasure of this wicked servant he rama who made barks out of rocks and wise counselors out of monkeys and bears everybody calls me a servant of lord and i myself claim to be one and shri rama puts up with a scoffing remark that the master like sita's lord as a servant like tulasi dasa my presumption and error are indeed very great and hearing the tale of my sins even hell has cornered at them i shudder to think of it due to my assumed fears while shri rama took no notice of them even in a dream the lord on the other hand applauded my devotion and spirit on hearing of perceiving the scanning perceiving and scanning them with a mind's eye if there is anything good in one's heart it is marred by the telling of for shri rama is pleased to note that what is there in the devotee's mind because often we do have a love towards rama but then the mind takes us in some other direction but the lord recognizes that pinch of love in us and with that he blesses us the lord never cherishes in his mind the lapse if any on part of a devotee while he remembers the latter spirit a hundred times for instance the very crime of which he had killed wali the monkey king of kishkindra even as a huntsman was repeated in the misdemeanor perpetrated by sugriva 
because sugriva too committed a mistake similar to that of wali however because of the because of little love that he had shown towards rama rama remembered the love and forgot the mistakes done by sugriva even vibhishana too was guilty of the same offense but shri rama took no cognizance of it even in a dream the hero of ragu's clan on the other hand honored them both at his meeting with bharata on his return from lanka and commended them in the open court while Ra- while shri rama himself was getting coronated thus such is the love such is the greatness of the name rama which is much more higher much more stronger much more powerful compared to the manifested form of shri rama himself नमस्ते शारदा देवी काश्मीर पुरवासिनी त्वामहं प्रार्थये नित्यं विद्यादानञ्च देहि मे बाय श्री रामचंद्र कृपाल भजमन हरण भव भय दारुणम श्री रामचंद्र कृपाल भजमन हरण भव भय दारुणम श्री राम श्री राम श्री राम श्री राम श्री राम श्री